Uh, recently, a murder took place. Dr. Tiller, he was a well-known abortionist who practiced late-term abortions. It's been known that he was willing to abort that child even on its due date. Do you believe a woman has a right to her own body? No. I believe all people should have that right. That's why I support banning rape and legalizing drugs. There is no case where her rights don't impede on the rights of others? Hmm. Nope. When we talk about rights, by the way, we're, we're talking about two different kinds of rights. Is that like the two kinds of DNA, or the kinds of animals that clearly share no common descent, all evidence aside? Some will argue that her rights are given to her by Roe versus Wade. But this is a circular argumentation. Her rights must come from a source outside of the law. But where does, where does these laws come from? Where do we get our rights? The Constitution declares that we have unalienable rights given to us by God. The Constitution doesn't give us rights. It's a contract telling the government that we'll do what you say as long as you don't break these rules. The source of these rights is, has been, and always will be the people. The people give themselves the rights by deciding what they'll put up with. The Constitution is meaningless without the power of the people. What I'm hoping here is that through discussion we could maybe look again at the importance, the sanctity of life. The Ten Commandments forbids us to kill and there is a difference between wartime. Well, of course there is. Otherwise, you couldn't raise live babies to become dead soldiers. When a woman, a mother, takes the life of her unborn baby, in effect, this is taking someone's life. And when one of our toy soldiers ventilates a brown person's skull, it's perfectly fine. After all, that's war, and that's different. I do believe that God grants us unalienable rights. And there is nothing more important for us as individuals but to care for those who are less fortunate, who don't have a voice. We're called to shore up the young, the weak, amongst us, to fight for those who are less fortunate. And what could be more important than our own offspring, our own kind, our children, and to let this great evil continue is, is a travesty and a crime against humanity. I agree. It's absolutely abominable that people bitch about abortions when there are plenty of orphans to help out first. Such a drag that God hates gays. Otherwise we'd have a vast market of parents who can't have children and would want to adopt. I'm so happy, oh, happy than lucky me. I just go my way, living every day. I don't worry, worries don't agree. Things that bother you never bother me.